I just started this video. I'm gonna say Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. By Shem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to all you Akim out there putting in work. As you can see, we are here on a on the south side, Columbus, Ohio. What y'all wanna get into? It? Oh, y'all seen that, uh, the Trump, we were talking about last week, the Trump declared martial law. Y'all see that? What, what, there, it was over immigration. He enacted some, uh, act where he pretty much is, we in martial law right now. Man. Look it up, man. That's good fucking news, Cassidy. So, what was it on drugs or? Yeah, well, it was on drugs too. It was all over at InfoWars. I was checking, I was, like, I was like, let me check in on that Alex Jones. But he passed some kind of act, but it, what it does, it's over immigration. So, give, it gives him uh, the power just to start tossing motherfuckers out. Yeah. You see, we're tossing them everywhere, though. Yeah. So, yeah. Type in, you can type in Trump, yeah. You can probably type in Trump, Info Wars, Martial Law. So it has something to do with immigration. They can use it on anybody, though. They can't see it. It's so bright. He got his videos up now, right? No. Cause he got all his video YouTube channel deleted. So he got he gonna bitch you. I never went to YouTube on him anyway. Yeah. What are you doing? There's the name of the act. I forget what it is. It's in the, he. Uh, Enacted some action from the Constitution, actually. I forget what it's called. Go ahead, you guys. It's the second edge of 16. Let me see, I bet I can find it. I'm going to look it up. 1668 uh, says, If you hold the burning wrath of the great multitude is killing over you, and they shall take away certain of you who feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. They that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For they, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Insurrection. Confusion out here. Mass fucking confusion, man. In the midst of martial law, declaring full flesh. You see, man, these motherfuckers are going to be out here in droves because they ain't in the light anyway, man. They don't know nothing. They don't know what's going on. And they ain't got the sense enough to watch the news. They just gonna see shit going on, and they're going to join in. You know niggas have on. If it's an opportunity, they're going to go do it. It's an opportunity for them to be wicked, man. Loot, you know, loot, murder, death, whatever that comes in their fucking mind this time, man. But shit is happening quick, man. And 
that's the that's the spirit of the, the spirit more the spirit of your house and y'all shot coming from, coming on the spirit. That's just the spirit. And the spirit of Yahweh Bush and Yahweh is the spirit of death and destruction. We ain't out here teaching. Actually, this is the good news. <laughs> the death and destruction is the good news. But we're out here to prophesy the bad news that this place is on its fucking way out, man. And it's just playing out. It's just playing out. Oh, it's called uh, the Insurrection the insurrection Act. Oh, shit. I got to say that. It's right here. That's on bit two. The Insurrection Act. To invoke the insurrection back to stop doing government invasion. Oh, you know, that, that was something else, though, but it all goes all together, though. Check it out. Trump left the, uh, the UN gun agreement in the country right before he signed another executive order for a UN invasion. Remember that? Yeah. That actually might be two different acts. The insurrection act, there might have been another one. Well, reports now indicate that President Trump may soon invoke the insurrection act to take action towards the ongoing border crisis. Yeah, that's it. Alex breaks down. Alex, here we go. Give him. Alex, Alex Jones crazy. Hey, but he's the only person to cover certain shit, though. That's true, though. He's he, he look at it like, these oh. motherfuckers, man. You know they ain't in the light. They do feed you something. Yeah, I mean, that's you his job. It, yeah, if he don't right. give us information, he go out of business. Damn right. It says, Alex breaks down how they left policies have led to most of the problems now affecting both of them. Yeah, you yeah. gotta watch the video probably. Oh, is that what the fuck yeah. it is? Maybe they're pretty much going into it, yes. That's some bull. The insurrection act. Cause they gonna say, uh, gotta that shut these borders down and keep America safe. America's... But they gonna do that stop it, uh, they can stop it if it's... But at any point, somebody could come, if one or martial law, the cops could come up and you de detain you with no questions, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. They could be like, oh, you look like a Mexican, let's lock him up. You know, you could be black, white, it don't matter. And it says, he shall be like mad men, sparing none. Sparing none. Still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. They said loud as fuck out here. That's Esau's main goal, beating us. Fuck it. Probably a meth lab blew up or something. It is a spirit of death. Big moves though. Just like that shit with Iran is going down. It's going down with Iran. Yeah, they just poking the shit over there. They poking it. Yeah. <laughs> just like they gonna poke the bear. <laughs> Talking about Russia, man. They said, they said uh, there's, a, there's an attack there in the US Assembly in uh, Iraq. Oh, yeah, they was getting hit hard too. That shit. They went because, uh, oh shit, that was yesterday where um, the Iraq parliament voted, they're voting to get the USA. U.S. of how the fuck the right period. Once they vote, once that vote comes down, like get them out, they act quickly. They ain't gonna be sitting around waiting. Yeah. You know? They act quickly, man. Like they gonna uh, 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 launch an attack on Iran out of on Iraqi soil. Iraq and, and Iran's friends now. You know? They friends, man. And Iraq actually think they ran for help keeping the area, you know, uh, somewhat stable. Yeah, stable. You know what I'm saying? They destroyed Iraq. The United States destroyed Iraq. <laughs> they fucked Iraq. Iraq. They fucked Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> That's some concerning shit. That's fucked up. But you go to Iran. I've seen videos of Iran. It's all beautiful and shit. Nice city. Iran is Uh, drunken. That's what, that's what uh, Iraq 
and you start seeing that America is full of shit. So Saudi Arabia, see, you start seeing America, all the goddamn nations seeing that America is full of shit. You know what I'm saying America ain't did nothing but just okay. Uh, what the script said they destroyed many with this policy of peace or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We go, yeah, we peace with you, and then at the end they gonna fuck them over. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Uh-huh. Oh, let me find that. Do you know what America does? They gonna go in there, take over a country. They gonna take out the dictator, the evil dictator. They, they say evil. They gonna set up a democracy and put in some puppet leaders. You know what's, you know they gonna crazy? set. Up, I'll go ahead. Like, I'll go, you do it. Uh, what's so crazy? I, I was learning. I was learning about the uh, Philippine Wars, the American Philippine Wars. But before that, was Spain the Philippine War, right? Because the Philippines they try to break off the Spain, whatever. And the American, they, they they thought, okay, we get help from America. Yeah. And then America helped them whatever the fuck and then they the Philippines probably much had you know got independence and then America fucked over the fucking Philippines you know what I'm saying like they was like no we don't we don't we don't take you as a uh, sovereign nation it's just a now it's just a military base yeah. pretty much and then what like three months later America and them fighting just so like what the fuck like god damn how you gonna you was claiming to help us and then now you fucking with us now what the hell that's what America is uh, now they just yeah they use the Philippines that's a Military bases and doors for the for the military men to have sex with. That's how they, that's how they view the Philippines. It's just a bunch of whores and slaves, you know. Well, I guess that's true as well. Yeah, pretty much. You know, Obadiah one five. Thieves came to be if robbers by night. How art thou cut off? Would they have? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How? Are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding. And you see how they secrets, they getting exposed. Like everybody's starting to learn about this devil. We out here making videos, we're on the streets teaching, teaching people. You got brothers all over the world right now making videos, teaching people. That's right, day and night. Plus, you got the conspiracy nuts out here. I mean, they waking people up to the conspiracy. You know what I mean? We waking up people to the truth, which is the Bible. But there's all kinds of truth coming out about Esau and the bankers and the secret societies and all that. That's another truth. You need you is waking up. Man, we can't deal with Americans no more, man. These motherfuckers either want to use us uh, charge high price shit for all our bills. You know, we, they want us to be their uh, their bitch. Yeah. And that's why America, America has to start this war. You uh, you is in hands with China. Don't know about it. Everybody knows about it. Uh, that the one belt road. Yeah. The one belt road that's leading out of China, that's leading all the way through Iran, that's going to go through Turkey. You know? That's a bad thing. Right, right, right. And America's being left out. So they have to leave. They, they have to start this war. Just so that to stabilize all that, to stop all that business. That's the devil for your ass, man. They, they want to stop you from, you know, they want to stop you from prospering and shit. So the devil want to start a fucking war, man. That's beautiful, though. Uh, like the same, I forgot what the devil said. He said, uh, if, uh, if, uh, is that how you said? He said, if they don't cross the borders, truth will. Because you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really what they say. <laughs> Because they're like, it's in the bad saying too, uh, trade war leads to real war. Right. That's all war really is. It's just because, oh, I want your trade. I want this trade group with that. Bankers war. Bankers war. You know, cutthroats. That's all they are, a bunch of fucking cutthroats. It's all about money. Yep. That's it. Hey, that's why you go that's back it. to Smedley Butler's book, War is a Racket. It's a racket. Right, but to go even deeper for these motherfuckers, the actual leak. It's a different plan for them. They want the birthright back. But they using their own people, even mice to fight it, cause this whole shit to be stripped on themselves, man. Because to them, war, <laughs> war is like a ritual, too. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's like a sacrifice. Yeah. It's a great sacrifice, yeah. Uh, That's true. That's true. It says... Um, Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the Mount of Esau, and they and thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. May be cut off by slaughter. World War fucking three, baby. World War three, baby. 
We've been waiting for this, man. All this labor we've been doing for years, man. Labor, prophesy, prophesy. Now you can damn near smell it happen. <laughs> Not just see it, <laughs> you can smell it. <laughs> that's, that's something that should help you get out of bed every day, man, knowing that this shit is coming to an end. That's fucking faith. That's what's called faith. For the violence against thy brother, Jacob's shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. In the oh, I got another scripture. Go ahead, go ahead. No, that Jeremiah. Which says, which of the skirt, make the leg there. That's Jeremiah 50 and 51. It's right there. I know the same. Jeremiah, I know the same. 51. Maybe it's... I'm going to go to Jeremiah 50. And, uh, I'm going to start at our uh, 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon a symbol of great nations from the north country. They shall set themselves in array against her. From this shall she be taken. Their arrows shall be as of, of a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. The Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, says the Lord, because ye were glad, because ye rejoice, O ye destroying of my heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer and grass and bellow and bull. Your mother shall be sound and found. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hidden most of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Oh, uh, actually, that's, that's probably, I'm probably cold. That's not what I want. That's a good one, though. Keep going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the wrath that's of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Every one that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. But yourselves, put yourselves in a way against the battle round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. So you're going to spare no arrows. And what's the modern day arrows and missiles? Oh, ain't there going to be no missiles spared. You know, like, uh, you know, the word missile, too, back in the day, they call arrows missiles and uh, javelins and missiles. That's an old word. But yeah, the modern day arrows are missing. They're going to shoot all the missiles on America. They're going to be turned into a lake of fire. America going to be turned into a lake of fire. That's the lake of fire. That's hell. That's what you call that hell fire. That's real hell. They got missiles called hellfire missiles. Because you know there's all kind of symbolism with all the different military equipment. Like, like the, even the space shuttles, like the Apollo. You know, it's like all the space shuttles are all named after, uh, like God and shit, like Apollo. And, uh, what's yeah. another one? Like, I'm trying to have the missile that Death, to go, death Dawn, Death Dawn, something. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in East, in East Wind. In East Wind? Oh, shit. Yeah, I heard about that. In the East Wind, that's how you the trying to, they know about the scripture. Where they get the east wind from? That's in the scriptures. You get hit with the east wind. The east wind is what brings pestilence, famine, death, drought. What do you think a what kind do you think a missile going to? That's an in instant desert. Yeah, that's when that motherfucking uh, locusts and shit come. Like the east wind, the east wind. Oh yeah, them locusts come through those. Yep, they go they, right with the wind. Yeah, they fly right through that. They be gliding man. through that shit. And locusts is on rise right now in government. They are too. It's a matter of time till we see them here. It's just a matter of fucking time. Locusts, locusts bringing destruction. They eat everything. They eat all the crops. 
They destroy all the cross. Right. It says, put yourself in the gray against that that is round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against the Lord. Shout against her round about. She hath given her hand, her foundations are fallen fallen. Her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she hath done. Do unto her. That's the vengeance of the Lord. Right. So look, all, everything people just love about America is going to be destroyed. Motherfucking Empire State Building going to be destroyed. Madison Square Garden going to be destroyed. That bitch holding the wall. Yeah, all the... Uh, Masonic bitch. The fucking statue of uh, slavery. Uh, Place to nations in Earth. To this day, they flatten fucking nations, man. So do unto her as she was done unto you. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, you go to the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty, like your brother says, uh, Masonic. It represents the sun god. That's why I got the rays coming off his head. And check this out. Uh, the Statue of Liberty represents the sun. And it was made by French Freemasons. And it was modeled after the, the Colossal Road. Y'all know what the Colossal Road is? In the ancient Greek world, they made it's a giant, just like the Statue of Liberty. And the Colossal Road was a, a, a idol of the sun god Helios. So the, the Statue of Liberty, they represent the sun god. What? That shit burned up. Oh, that yeah. shit burned up right along with Philadelphia. That's where it's at, ain't it? All, the, all your favorite shit in America gonna get burned up. Everything y'all love. This gas station gone. Baptist church over there is gone. South, the hood. Yeah, the hood. The hood. There ain't gonna be no more hood. There ain't gonna be no hood in the kingdom. Oh, this is my, we're repping my hood. No, we're gonna have a nation. Wicked yeah, no oh, wicked. They gonna get burned up. Shit, no more wickedness. That's a day. That's something to rejoice in itself. That close eyes coming to get rid of wickedness. Shit, death, defeat, death. Shout against the power. She has given her hand. Sorry. Take vengeance upon her, and she had done due unto her. Put off the sword from Babylon and him that handled the sickle in the time of harvest. For fear, for fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people and they shall flee everyone to his own land. Yeah, so yeah, you might have people who are trying to escape America. Oh. This is done. Hey, I was watching the uh the elite know what's coming. I was just watching, I think it was on Vice. Get this loud ass shit out of here, bro. Oh, loud ass bullshit. watching a story on Vice News and he was talking about uh, he went to New Zealand you know like a lot of the rich elite people in the world they got special bunkers being built down in New Zealand you will watch this on Vice News they just put a you get on you just search Vice New Zealand bunker you know you look at a I got I don't need that man I don't need it there ain't nothing but you got some of the richest people in the world building bunkers in New Zealand they think they're gonna be able to escape America they know that they, they know the missiles are coming. Why are they gonna get a a, 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 bun, a a bunkers built? Do they know the missiles are coming? They think New Zealand's secluded enough that they might avoid the missiles. They know the missiles are coming. Yeah, they got the walls to build that shit. Too. Yeah. They just want the richest man in the world was down there. Who was that? Uh, Got the motherfuckers know. They got a bunch of people down there. They got them building like bunkers so far down, and they're so fucking huge that when you walk around, they got you feeling like you're still outside because they got monitors all up in the motherfucker that makes it look like you're looking out a window. 
you know, let's stop them from being tough people, you know, around their time, catching, you know, they're doing the claustrophobia or whatever. They thought they're paying through, man. They plan on living down there comfortable and shit. You know? Hey, that Jeremiah 16 coming to play. Living comfortable as hell. Hey, let me get that real quick. I got the ball. Um, I thought that was something like that in Ob Obadiah, though. Uh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Um, Obadiah 1 again. And, uh, 2, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellers in the cleft. Hey, and that tells you who Esau, that's proof who Esau, who is greatly despised upon the planet Earth? Edom. Hey, no, Amalek in specific, specific. Oh, especially Amalek. <laughs> Nobody likes the fucking fake Jews. Nobody, Nobody. likes them. Nobody. The only people that like them are them dumbass Christians. They're, they're totally clueless. Black woman. Oh, that bitch. And the nigga woman. Nigga loving love. No, nobody like them fake them right. fake ass dudes. Y'all see the video went up on World Star yesterday. The, 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 the Amalek's wife came to kiss the black woman because they must have been having a conversation. And the black bitch was probably coming with that Jesus shit. Yeah. And then kissed him and, and, and the woman walked off and her husband came and threw up on the black bitch. On her face. You serious? Threw up on her fucking face, man. Oh, shit. And then she's up like, you know, the motherfucking Jew rat hit her in the head with a bottle. Pow! You serious? Yeah, man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But I'm looking like I'm looking at it like fuck the black bitch too. Yeah. You know? Motherfuckers in the comments be like, I can't wait to. I mean, I swear, with God, my witness, I I like to be left in the room with that that death. You know, shit like that. Only showing love for the what the black woman, but condemning the devil. They're not even looking at the whole picture. They just show these people are in the dark. Bro. They'll show you these people don't have the fucking spiritual right, why, shit. Why would the Most High let that happen to that Right, bill? right. Listen, you gotta see it though, it's amazing. <laughs> the pride of thy heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the class of the rocks whose habitation is high. Oh, who's having, oh, we're gonna break that down, because Esau likes his habitation high. That's why you go to all the Edomite nations where they got skyscrapers everywhere. Esau's a builder. That go back to the Freemasons, they all a bunch of builders. They always building shit, you know what I mean? That's the Esau spirit. He's a builder. Ain't just like Hayrod was the uh, was the Edomite in the ancient world. The uh, king, uh, you know, the puppet king of Jerusalem, the Edomite. He's an Edomite. What was he known for? Building. It says, "Whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle." The eagle. That's the mark right there. America's symbol is the eagle. It's on the back of a dollar. And they, they think they hide the, the most high is an eagle. You know what I mean? Yeah. And though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, this will I bring thee down to save the Lord. Yeah, he think he, this devil literally tried to go up in outer space thinking he's the most high. He got his little space stations. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they named the, uh, the space, the, the fucking... The Apollo. What is the symbol for the Apollo space shuttle? It was the eagle? It was the eagle? They even say the eagle. Yeah, the eagle. The eagle is landed. That's what they said when they got to the moon. Well, when they pretended that they got to the moon, they ain't been in no goddamn moon. Yeah, y'all, y'all yeah, gotta prove that to me. I'm sorry. Nah, nowhere near. That's why you don't see no real footage of the Earth. In the pool, they used to take a bunch of pictures and then their cameras and put it together like, oh, oh, that's the earth, that's the earth. The, all the pictures you see in the earth is pictures put together. They ain't got shit. I heard, I heard uh, a lot of the famous pictures of the earth is a, are paintings. <laughs> they got clever with it now because they got the technology. Put it together like a puzzle. Just like the put signs together. Yeah, the pieces. You know, the pieces. for many fishers, said the Lord, they shall fish them. And after what I sent for many hunters. Right, so we are here fishing right now. But soon we're gonna be hunting. The day a day gonna come, the Lord gonna put his spirit on us, and he's gonna turn us into a, a battle axe and a weapon of war. And we're gonna be hunting Edomites. I'll go ahead, read that. It'll tell you right here. And they shall fish them, and I will. And after what I sent for many hunters, 
and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Hey, hey like them bunkers. Hey, they got deep, uh, what do they call them, dumbs? Deep underground military bunkers. They have those here in the United States. Like what, uh, the United States is military HQ is where the, the, the Rockies, right, in Colorado, that's where they got their, uh, what's that, NORAD, and all that's in, uh, deep in the mountains, in the Rocky Mountains, so the Lord gonna put his spirit, we're gonna be going up in a, all through them underground tunnels, yeah, they're gonna collect, they're gonna be like, oh, you don't watch Game of Thrones, do you? At least they ain't, they smart enough, they gonna be in America, they gonna be trying to go, they gonna try to go up in outer space or something. Luxury the space station. Ain't no hot. I would like to see the shit they got now, though. But they ain't just this. You know, they ain't gonna lay show off their shit like a thing. You said they got underground bases. They got underwater bases. I like some, some fucking Aquaman shit. Yeah. I seen some of them underwater shit. They probably got shit off the whole ground the Hell, this whole earth is gonna say Come talk to us. Come on. What you got to do? Figure that out. Okay. Come on. You might learn something. This is the only place you're going to learn at. You ain't coming. You're just going to scoff and ride off. Huh? You'll continue to stay in that dead state of mind. You know, you got to learn shit. You gotta learn how to repent. You know what repent means? You know why we need to repent? Uh, you gotta repent. What's the scripture? Repent for the kingdom of heaven's at hand. Cause the missiles are about to hit. Cause y'all know the missiles is coming, right? Cause soon the Lord gonna destroy America with fire. America gonna get burned up. The Most High gonna destroy America. All right, if you ain't right, you're going to get burned up. What you got? I hate this place. I got to stick up this Jeremiah. Yeah, they look, they was kind of creepy, though. Yeah. They? And I've seen for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, from every hill, and I will hold them up. For my eyes are upon all their ways. The most eyes up on their ways. Why, what was the ways of them people right there? Bro, foolish. They retards. The average person stuck on the level of a fucking retard. I mean, what do they do with their lives? Nothing. They just sit around on goddamn day being a jackass. Got no knowledge, no nothing. They they contribute nothing to the world. You see how easy they dismiss them? Yeah. Like, fuck, like, there's nothing to do, man. But they was curious what we was doing, though. So they curious, but we try to tell them they don't want to hear it. Fuck them. Proverbs one, we're gonna turn it. We just did it. Yeah. <laughs> These people don't mean no good whatsoever. They're worthless. They're really worthless. These people can't be good. Cause that's why I be riding around. You know, you be walking around, you just question yourself, like. First of all, where the fuck all these people come from and why does the Most High allow them to exist? He actually allows these people to exist. For that's, a reason, they're God. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's the purpose, it's the fucking God. And here's the Most High's pleasure. Ah, God! God! Ooh, God! Look at my fucking... It says, verse 1 and 20, Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of conflict, in the openings of the gates. In the city she covers her word saying, How long, ye simple, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Fools hate knowledge, but they delight in scorning. That's the thing, though. We'll be out here teaching people love to come up and talk shit, make fun of us or whatever. But here, here it is, they're an actual re they're retarded. They don't they literally know nothing about anything at all. But they gonna come up and talk shit to us. Like, ah, oh, look at you guys, ha ha ha. Who love the most high with just 
had the cold stretch of five bar super. We're gonna start winning some shit like and that. And they're they gonna be screaming. People are like, yeah. how come y'all ain't helping? <laughs> Turn you and my we're gonna start seeing shit like that too, man. Like like shit like you know it's the most I'm acting now. <laughs> shit. Turn you at my reproof, behold. I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called. Hey. You making the words known now by us doing these videos. Whether they uh, hear or forbear, yeah. I mean, most people ain't gonna listen to us. They just, but they just look at us like, who the fuck are these guys? Because I have called, because I have called and you refuse. Oh, we have called. The most I called, but y'all refuse. I have stretched out my hand, and no man reported. That's why we out here stretching the hand out right now. People just walk by, they look, shake, they shake their head at us. There's scripture on that, they shake their head. You know, they they, they look at us in disgust, like, how dare we be out here teaching the Bible? You know what I mean? But when we's out here selling dope or something, if we's out here smoking a blunt, rapping, it's like we all had our own blunt, and we had a battle rap, you know, we'd be the cool, we'd be cool. People, be, you know, they want to be down with us. We gonna start our own battle rap for it. He says, but you have said that no all my counsel, because he because I thought and you do and trust on my hand and no man reported. He has said that no all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. Ooh, I will mock when your fear comes. When the most high go mock and laugh at y'all when he's fucking you up, when he's destroying you, y'all getting hit by the missiles or whatever happened to you. Like your brother said, somebody can come and scoff at us, drive by in the car, and the car could just explode. They could crash into the goddamn wall. A fucking drunk driver could come and hit them head on. You know, folks, you know what I always say, man, I repeat every day that, you know, our works is, is, is followed by action. You know, yeah. the most high has always got in mind, was it Elijah who was calling down the, the fire? Yeah. The kill and the, 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 the was sending so many military men each time that was dying and was sending less and less. I'm not sure if it was less and less or more and more. I can't remember which kind of was that. But he said, if I'm a man of the Lord, send fire down and destroy these motherfuckers. Yeah. You know? I always say motherfuckers. Uh, it's not a, you know what I mean? It's not in the scriptures, but hey, when you speak though, like hey. this, man, it's for a purpose. It is motherfuckers. This is express yep. dissatisfaction. This is express anger. You know? A motherfucker is a fornicator. The one who fucks the mother. That's an incest. You know what I mean? Right. And whoever came up with that one, motherfucker. You know, it's a Jake. Oh, yeah. What well, do you think it was? Yeah, because they used to slay us. They used to lay us down. Blindfold us. They had us fucking our mother, so they labeled us motherfuckers. Yeah. Now, you know, he saw this shit out of pleasure, out of the music. The music is a sick son. We're going to do the same fucking thing. We're going to be thinking terror. at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a oh, When distress... What, what's that word? What do you think got a whirlwind and a nuclear missile is? That's a, fucking, that's a whirlwind for you. That's what I think the most high is cuckoo. <laughs> Stupid ass. They already, they already think he's lacking power. He only has so much power. That's how they think. They do think that. They give half his power to Satan. They say Satan responsible for all the evil in the world. That's some funny shit, man. They say God's not capable of hatred. You know, tell me the most high, the creator of all, he created everything except for hate. <laughs> That's just that's some dumb ass shit, man.
think I get some sales for my bike. Catch, catch some sales. I wonder if that's what it I actually, you know what? I'll tell you to change the subject. But I was doing research uh, the past couple of days on steam engines. You know, we was talking about that last week, steam engines. You know, they had actually had fucking steam powered cars and shit right. in America. Right. It was expensive though, but and they're faster than a regular car. Which proves they got the technology to run these vehicles on just water. They're going to rip us off all the gasoline and food the air. It was a wall stop. You know, it was a funny thing. It was a wall challenge. That's them who's behind thinking that the oil is a, uh, is a, uh, is a resource that's limited. Yeah. And it's going to come short. That's be, the wall challenge is behind that. So they, that's where the fo- whole bullshit of fossil fuel come up. The wall challenge just defies that plan so they can charge more for the fucking hey, scary. For oil. I heard the earth produces it. Produces its own oil. Man. Yeah. It produces it all. It's not fossil fuel. They done found out that so-called reservoirs that they supposed to have emptied up, they keep remaining full. <laughs> okay. Right, right. Even that shit's not good for the air, though. It ain't good for shit. They, that's another thing. Yeah. They know it. Yeah. They knew it before they even started this. Mass, madness. When they was using steam engines, that was more environmental friendly. All you do is pump it out steam. Okay, distress means uh, straits, distress, trouble, vexer. <laughs> vexer, vexer. And the most I can say is going to vex you and store displeasure. This anguish is. You're going to mock when your fear comes up. Strength, distress, strength, distress, anguish, pressure, distress. These people are fucked. You <laughs> <laughs> say your distress shall come as a world. Is that what it says? Your distress shall come as a world. They, they don't know what the fuck hit them. They're just going to be running out here with their, with their pants down. Right now, I'm Picture it, though. These you, motherfuckers just don't know gone. what to do. They don't know what's going on. Well, they're gonna be going to motherfuckers they hate and shit. Look for this. Hey man, what's, you know what's going on? Going on? Awesome, they ain't got a fucking clue about how how to they don't watch the news, they're not informed people. That's one thing about Americans. Americans are the most least informed people on the planet. They don't care about being them. If you try to inform them, they'll call you a buzzkill. Wow, well, you fucking up my high. You know? Come back like nah, that can't be the way. This is my way. Okay. You know, I'll be alright. We agree to disagree. I'll be alright. It says when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated Helen. Oh man, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. That's alright though. That's alright though. But some gra- a greater noise is on the trail. I know you think it'd be better here than downtown. Then shall they call it one man. But I'll, you know, these people don't want this guy. They're looking at it. Now we're going on. There's actually a lot of people out here. Some heathens. Some people. You go down each street, coming back and forth, you're going to run into your fucking jump. Yeah. You got to watch yourself, too. Over this out here, hiding in the shadows, waiting to catch you slipping. This ass boy, they hate it. No! They did not show you. They made it stupid. Right, that's why they remain stupid. I got a scripture for that. Hold on. Ecclesiastic is 21. This applies to most people out here. Basically, these people out here. Please, the is 21 and 14. <laughs> Actually, let me start. Man, you can read this whole chapter. Let's start at 13. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood, and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. So this is a fountain of life. This is an oasis right here. 
We out in the world, it's like a desert. You know what I'm saying? Look at the smell of this fucking shit. They smoking that loud. You done ran up on a fucking pond of alkaline water. Yeah. You got you palm, that though? It's like a desert. It's like we got palm trees, water. We got one of the belly dancers. And, and, you know what I mean? You know how you be in the middle of you watch the park and they find that oasis? We a fucking GD up in that motherfucker. Like that. Happy as a motherfucker. That's how it was. That's how it was when we found the truth. We cleaned the truth. It says, uh, the inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel and he will hold no knowledge as long as he liveth. So you can keep a precept upon precept all you want. Precept upon precept. Teach him a few words and different languages. Shit just pour right out. You put it in it, <laughs> it go right back out. It can't hold it. He's walking into the trail of shit. I know guys like that too. I, I know Most guys. We know are like that. Well, you know, like people in the world that we know that we're kind of our. We got people in the world that are our friends. And you got the same guys. You keep trying to tell that, like, don't you remember? You're an Israelite. It's like, oh yeah. Cause you ask them, why? What's your nationality? And they forget. But how could you forget that you're an Israelite? Yeah, you're a heathen. You know what I mean? Cause you know certain guys, you keep trying to tell them basic shit and they can't remember. You can't, yeah, you can't fuck with it. Yeah, you're right though. That's like uh, what they call that? It's like pissing against the wind. Go right, fly right back in your face. So that they hated the knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord, they were none of my counsel. They despised all my refuse. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. Yeah, these people, they despise knowledge, man. Because like I said, they, they don't care about knowledge. They don't care about history. What's up, dude? They just, what is they doing all day? They watching goddamn Netflix and... Smoking weed, I don't what do they do with that life? Useless you yeah, they, and that's why the elite, and then you can see why the elite, they got that Georgia guy stone, but they said he want to reduce the population of the earth down to what, 800 million? 500 million? They want it, yeah, that's right. Hell, 500 million. They, the elite, they look at everybody, they hate y'all. They they see you as useless. So they want to get rid of you. Y'all are useless. That's how they gonna use them nukes to do that. Them nukes, man, they take them out quick. Most likely gonna bring this one down low, man. It's gonna go down low. It's gonna go down low. <laughs> and that's most high. It ain't even so. He just used it so. And just like after the flood, we're gonna have to replenish the earth. Yeah, that's gonna be a good time. <laughs> that's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Floating across the sky, fucking the woman, man. Up in the clouds. Great, man. I can't wait, man. You know, it was wet pussy. <laughs> For real. She's looking at us. We got it. She died too, bro. She's going to be looking at us like, damn, we're the superstar. Goddesses are Israelite princesses. I ain't going to actually be princesses in the kingdom, that's though. Right. right now, on this side, they, there's nothing but bitches and hoes. They're queens. On this side, it's pure queens. Oh, they queens. They're queens on this side. They're queens. Oh, it does, does. Yeah, queen is a queen. Hey, that's where you get the word queen. It's funny how a queen is. It sounds so like a queen. It's one letter different. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you're right. It's uh, 2nd Ezra 9 and 18. It says. My point is in uh, 21, it's uh, 18, but it says, uh, And now when I have prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to will in that now I live, no man's back against me. And then everyone obeyed. But now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed. So that's what the Lord needs to destroy this place because it's a perpetual seed. It's a generation. Yeah, can get there's, worse. There's literally no end. And there's a scripture that says something like there's no end to it, to this madness, man. I can't remember. I just saw I was just reading it yesterday. Damn. There's no end. I hate that. I hate that. 
I mean, like, uh, well, Paul said, uh, fuck. He talked about, uh, said, oh, never mind, I just forgot, I lost my thought. <laughs> man, I'm gonna get old, I be forgetting shit, man. He said, and by a law, which is unsearchable written, though, I consider this, I consider the world in code there with Corel because of the devices that were pumped into it. And I saw a spirit of greatly that kept me a great of the cluster and a great multitude. Let the multitude perish then. The multitude, the multitude. That's the Georgia Guy Storm. So what's a guy stuff? That's a word. Yeah. It's my odd iron. But look, at so least put that out in the open. And the most high put his out in the open, so these motherfuckers ain't got no excuse. Shit. <laughs> he said, let them pray, let them let them then, which was born in vain. And born in vain? Yeah. That's, that's a, a, that's a, that's a, that's a shit. fire That's a fire That's a that second Ezra got so much fire in it. They said it was born in vain. That's how I see him. You know, you look at him, you're like, you're worthless, bro. What the fuck is wrong? These people actually have, their lives have no purpose, no value. It fucking vex us. You're supposed to have some purpose about your fucking life. They do. Purpose is to vex us. Yeah, to vex us. <laughs> yeah, every time, every single goddamn time I be in the, uh, in the traffic, I be thinking like, man, goddamn, these people didn't exist. I'll be home by now. Yeah, they didn't. Exactly. I think that all the time. I did that. It says, uh, yeah, man, I'm seeing it every day, but these motherfuckers. It's like, there's too many goddamn people. Yeah, like, it's like, y'all taking up.